the super translator. Paul, they're still in sleeping in that bed. I know. Isn't this just a little risky? I mean, should we wait till morning when no one's around? There's no time, Missy. Paul is right. We lost the enemy agent back at the alleyway, but it's only a matter of time until they could pick up our trail again. Besides, we need to return the special tape before the next broadcast. I just don't like this late night shift. Besides, I need my beauty sleep. Maybe you should have thought of that. We're back at the mall waiting for you. How can you even say that? It was a sale. Two, four. Shh. Stop arguing. And let's concentrate on getting back home. Major Dredd, sir. What is it? You fool, do you know what time it is? How dare you? Forgive me, your dreaded ship, but I have located the super translator. What? Yes, the entrance to the secret headquarters of Commander Kelly and the super kids. <laughs> they left the entrance unguarded. Well, don't you stand there. Follow them and destroy that show. And if you value your life, you will not fail. Yes, sir. <laughs> At last, I can stop Commander Kelly, the Super Kids, and the Blasted Show. No longer can they interrupt our network with their pirated broadcasts of, of hope <gasps> and love. <gasps> Finally, fear will reign in the hearts of children everywhere. <laughs> it seems like years now since all the world's broadcast networks were taken over by the NNE Corporation. NNE is a secret acronym for Notoriously Malicious Enterprises. At first, the organization and its programming appeared relatively harmless. But then, the shows grew more and more violent and controlling. NNE said they just gave people what they wanted. The organization used entertainment as a disguise to expand its reach until every network was under their control. Now, they attempt to control the entire world with a message of fear and evil aimed mostly at children. They believe if they can control the children, that they can control the future. A plan that could work except for a small band of resistance known as the Super Kids. At the core is Commander Kelly and her Blue Squad, and they possess the last free transmitter that must now operate in secret. Greetings, cadets. We're interrupting this regularly disgusting program with a message of hope.
Blue Squad reporting, Commander Kelly. Mission accomplished. Here's the footage showing the gang activity was originally started by NME and later blamed on the Guardian Angels in Centra City. We're followed by an NME agent. But we lost him. Yeah, that was a close one. We were tracking through the city with an agent on our tail. We ducked into the alley, but the agent ducked as well. We could have crossed the neighborhood and hid behind a tree. And that was when the canine took a bite of enemy. We ditched him. <laughs> alert! Base alert! An intruder has entered security sector three. Are you sure you weren't followed? Yes, we all made it through the super translator. Alex was the last. Alex, you did wait for it to close, didn't you? You know the rule. The last one through must always guard the opening of the translator until it closes. Um, um, well, you see, I, I tripped. Um, I, I, I kind of bumped techno. I, I think the man woke up. Um, on second thought, I guess I forgot. You what? How could you? Okay, that's enough. The intruder has been captured, and I've dispatched Techno to bring him here for questioning. <laughs> okay, Buster, don't even think about it. One false move and... What? Uh, you know. No what? Well, actually, I just always wanted to say that. That's okay, Techno. Our guest appears quite harmless. Don't mind Techno. Yeah, his beep is much worse than his bite. You get it? B-Y-T-E? Bite? Like in a computer? <laughs> oh, please. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Commander Kelly, and this is Paul, Alex. Hi. Rapper. Yo. Valerie, and Missy. Nice to meet you. Also known as the Super Kids. <coughs> Forgive me. How could I forget? I believe you've met Techno, our robot. Greetings. My pleasure, I'm sure. Would you like to change into something a little less comfortable? Yeah. Thank you. Very much. Where am I? Uh, <laughs> how did I get here? What is that thing that I came through? That thing is called the Super Translator. Well, sir, technically you're transported, or rather translated, to another place instantaneously. Wait. You mean like in the Bible? We refer to it as the manual, but yes. Like Enoch in Genesis. Wait, <laughs> this is a trip. I mean, nobody's even told me what this place is all about. I tell you what, why don't you have a seat over there and we'll show you. All right. This is what you can get for giving away our little secret. <laughs> Now? Now. We interrupt this program with a message from our sponsor.
You look very familiar. I know who you are. You're... You're Mario, the singer, Mario. the TV star. You're... See? He's Mario. Yeah, I remember. You had your own TV show. What happened? Hey, dude, you had it made. Well, I had everything Enemy had to offer. Cars and clothes and, and money, fame. Everything except happiness. Then uh, I heard about a man who offered hope, and joy, and uh, even eternal life. You mean Jesus? Yeah, I mean Jesus. So I accepted him, and uh, boy, everything changed. I, I started to sing for the Lord, and uh, my life had purpose, and my songs had meaning. And the uh, enemy wasn't too thrilled about that. And then everything turned around. Friends turned against me. An enemy took my program off the air. But I was determined to continue to serve the Lord, and I wouldn't stop. But then things got worse. And I came home one day, and my house was burned to the ground. Everything was destroyed. And anything that meant something to me was gone. Then I got a note, and it says that if I continued to serve the Lord, that worse things would happen to me or to people that were close to me. And it just took my heart out. 